Ukrainian soldiers practiced their drills near Crimea. Almost eight years ago, the peninsula was annexed by Russia. Now many here and across Europe fear another act of aggression. And the US president says he thinks it will happen. On Thursday in Berlin, Joe Biden's Secretary of State spelt out what the West's reaction would be. We have been very clear throughout. Uh, if any Russian military forces move uh, across the Ukrainian border and uh, commit new acts of aggression against Ukraine, um, that will be met with a swift, severe, united response from the United States and our allies and partners. And yet pictures like these from Rostov show Russia increasing, not decreasing, its military readiness. Some media reports suggest forces like these and many others are now poised at several strategic locations around the borders with Ukraine. In Moscow, the view is very different. At the moment, the Western and Ukrainian media, as well as officials, have become even more active in replicating speculation about the imminent Russian invasion of Ukraine, as they put it. We are convinced that the goal of this campaign is to create an information cover for staging large-scale provocations of their own, including those of military character, which may have extremely tragic consequences for regional and global security. While in Kiev, President Volodymyr Zelensky says his country's aim is to prevent war with its neighbor. We do our best to find a diplomatic solution. We do our best for peace in Ukraine. What should you do? Only one thing, don't panic. Keep your head cool, be self-confident, be confident in our army and our Ukraine. Here in the German capital, ministers are clear. They say they want the Russians to de-escalate the situation. Even a tiny step backwards would be a welcome step. But that any act of aggression would have dire economic consequences for Russia, even if that would also cost Germany dearly. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Berlin. Well, let's get the view from both Kiev and Moscow on those developments from Al Jazeera correspondents who are there. Ukrainians have been closely monitoring the flurry of diplomatic efforts over the past few weeks as this crisis has been deepening. After all, this is a conflict that has cost this country more than 14,000 lives and add to that more than 1.4 million people who are internally displaced. But beyond that, you don't get the feeling that people are worried about an imminent Russian invasion, despite all the rhetoric they hear by, from their own leadership or indeed European and American uh, politicians. Now, people will tell you that this is actually not the right time for Russia uh, to uh, cross the border. They say that the situation is different than back in 2014. They say that the army, the Ukrainian army now, is much more capable, is much better equipped. It has received uh, training. So they feel that they are much more confident now and that Russia knows exactly that. Russia's foreign ministry is very clear about what they're hoping to achieve from the meeting on Friday in Geneva. That is, they want to take the next steps on negotiations on security guarantees that they're asking the American government about the possibility of NATO expanding further eastwards, as well as not allowing Ukraine to join the military alliance. That is something that is very much a red line for this country. So that's the official position here, but uh, what do ordinary Russians think about the ongoing tensions? We asked some people here in the capital, and here's what they had to say. I think there will be no war. It seems to me that we have this situation from time to time, because authorities need to keep people up with something, apart from COVID. Putin's rating is just going down. I don't believe it's possible that brotherly nations will ever start this war. I wouldn't want it. Because why? What for? To prove what and to whom? I stand for peace. Why is it all needed? I wish we don't make war, especially with Ukraine. We are brothers indeed. That's all I can tell you. As the world waits to find out what happens in Geneva on Friday, many here are hoping that diplomacy and dialogue can continue to be the path forward to try and de-escalate the looming crisis.